20 no. years. But sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Quaylen. It makes some people happy. You feeling lucky out there, Quaylen? Yeah, I love cereal milk. It's one of my favorites. It's a live look outside this morning over the Superdome. A cloudy start to this Thursday morning. Time right now is 547. Get ready for some very humid air. It's warm and muggy out there. Spotty rain chances return today, also tomorrow, but more scattered through the weekend. Rain and storm chances highest on Sunday. 77 at the airport. That's not a typo. We're looking very warm and humid out there. Wind southeast at 8 miles per hour. Dew points low 70s. That's the humidity, the moisture climbing right now. 77 for Slidell, 70 for Hammond, a pair of double sevens for Homa, for Galliano, and at the airport, upper 70s for Gulfport and Biloxi. It feels like 81 degrees at the Lakefront Airport when you involve that heat index. Down to five miles for Hammond, seven for Homa. they are starting to see that patchy fog developing here on the South Shore. Dense fog over Bogalusa, Washington Parish. Be careful this morning on those travels. If you have some morning activities planned, that walk or run, some patchy fog through 7, 76, close to 80 by 9 o'clock. 84 degrees. We could see a spotty shower storm. Your heat index by this time, 90 degrees. So start hydrating now for those outdoor activities this afternoon. 82 to 88, those high temperatures. Lower 80s mainly along the coast for inland spots, mainly mid to upper 80s. Heat index values, lower 90s today. Our sunset is 749, and we have some shower and storm chances in the forecast today between 20 and 30 percent, possibly some impacts for Jazz in the Park, which kicks off at 4 o'clock. 84 degrees, still 84 at 6 o'clock, and 80 one at eight o'clock, but it's still going to feel like 86 degrees with the heat and humidity. We still have this high pressure over the Atlantic waters onshore flow with that clockwise flow. So very humid start moisture beginning to build in, though. That's why we're seeing lots of clouds this morning and still a severe weather threat out to the west. That's still where that front is slowly crawling through the central United States. A very rare, rare high risk for severe storms issued by the Storm Prediction Center for parts of Kansas into Oklahoma, likely some long track tornado today. That's one area to watch through this afternoon. Here's that cold frontal boundary again stretching up towards the Great Lakes today and you can see some of the showers developing well ahead of that front. An area of low pressure we'll be watching for the weekend is this one right here. You can see that turning motion around Utah. That's going to be digging more to the south and east and so that's going to push a cold front through this weekend. Spotty showers today again 20 to 30 percent. The heat is on looking at some fog potential into Thursday night and early Friday morning. Another round of showers potentially 10 to 20% on Friday, so not as much coverage as we kick off the weekend. Saturday, though, 40 to 50% with those scattered rain and storms on Saturday, and that continues on Sunday. You don't see too much here pre-dawn on Sunday, but as we get into Sunday late morning afternoon, that cold front from the west will begin to push on in here, so those rain and storm chances are heading up. Seafood Festival could see some impacts as well. Friday, 20 10% chance of a shower or storm scattered on Saturday, and there's Sunday looking at temperature in those mid to upper 80s, actually. We could see some lower temps if we get some more of that cloud cover in here for the weekend. And that front will likely hang around becoming stationary, which means stalled rain chances into the start of next week. That's your